All right, Tony, thank you. An arrest made in a deadly hit and run crash. A moped rider was killed in that crash on Saturday. And now we're learning this may have been a case of road rage. We were there as the suspected driver, Ryan Almeida, was arraigned today on multiple charges. Our Sheena Loshudo is live for us in Fairhaven with the details revealed in court and what the suspect's lawyer is saying tonight. Sheena. Well, authorities say witnesses played a key role in this case. They were able to provide authorities with that license plate number. The suspect walked into court today wearing a suit and he was able to walk out as well. 35 year old Ryan Almeida makes bail and walks out of court Tuesday. The defendant is accused of being the driver in a fatal hit and run, killing a man on a moped Saturday on Main Street in Fairhaven. According to the Bristol County DA's office, witnesses say road rage is to blame for the deadly scene. Uh, and ultimately, um, although not observed by any of the witnesses, a collision occurred between the defendant's passenger side side view mirror and in all likelihood the head of Mr. Alvarez, who was driving the moped. The person on the moped has been identified as 29 year old Alexis Alvarez of Brockton. He died at the hospital. Authorities say they were able to track down the suspect's car. Uh, the pickup truck backed into a driveway now conspicuously missing its license plates with damage. Almeida's lawyer says his client looks forward to telling his side of the story, noting that the defendant appeared in court on his own will. My office was in communication on Sunday and Monday with the uh, state police detectives that were handling this case along with the uh, prosecutors for the Commonwealth Office. The defendant was ordered to go straight to the Fairhaven Police Department to get formally booked. Uh, Ryan is a 35 year old single father. He's obviously entitled to a presumption of innocence and he's really looking forward to his story being told uh, when, the, when the case develops. And Almeida is due back in court in September. Reporting live in Fairhaven tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.